Hey everybody, it's Workhorse here with my very first good enough guide to healing. This guide is really geared towards people who are, you know, billing in Storm League and don't really want to heal, but they're gonna because they're good people and you need a healer. So here's just how to be good enough with what you got. Today, I'm gonna talk about Deckard Kane and the changes that just happened on the patch notes as of August 28th, 2019. Deckard's cube mastery is specifically the thing that I wanna talk about the most. The spiciest change to Deckard comes in the form of what they did to cube mastery. What, how it reads is, you reduce the mana cost of scroll of ceiling from 40 to 25. Each enemy hero hit by Herodric cube reduces the cooldown of scroll of ceiling by four seconds. So that means if you hit the whole team, you basically reset your scroll of ceiling cooldown. So, why that is extra spicy is because you can actually kind of change the way that you've played Deckard to date to be kind of a badass when it comes to DPS. How this exactly works. Deckard used to be an amazing sustain healer with first and also great zoning. He was awesome. He was unbelievable and probably one of the best healers in HGC. Then they nerfed him into the ground. Sort of by nerfing all of his basic numbers. So now they're bringing him back, but in a different way because you can really do a shit ton of damage. You can do 30, 40, 50k in hero damage in a 20 ish minute game. And this is how you do it. The first talent you take is Field Study. Each enemy hero hit by Scroll of Ceiling grants 20% spell power for 16 seconds up to 40%. Okay, that seems fine and innocuous all on its own. But when you pair that with Q Mastery, suddenly if you're hitting three or four and bless it, maybe five heroes, you're actually crushing a ton of spell power for 16 seconds and that applies to your potions healing more it applies to your actual triangles in your in your cubes hitting a lot harder and if you pair that with your 16 talent scroll of stone curse scroll of ceiling deals 200 percent more damage when hitting at least two heroes so if you're hitting three people four people whatever not only are your cooldowns being reduced your mana cost is going lower you're actually upping your spell power and doing tons more damage and this is extra spicy on a bunch of different levels because you can treat deckard as a really great zoning support healer, but you can also just start pumping out the deeps. One of the great things about Deckard is your ability to combo off of other people in your composition. So if it's a Stitches or an ETC or even a Johanna, you have the ability to combo off of your tank's initiate. So what you have to think about is if there's CC coming in, you can drop a triangle, throw out a cube and reset off of hitting three or four different heroes. You can drop triangle right again. And then all of a sudden your damage starts to spike incredibly hard at 16 when you hit Scroll of Stone Curse, because honestly, you're hitting four, sometimes five and maybe you're playing Samurai, maybe you're playing against the Lost Vikings. <laughs> Huh? What now? You can actually do an insane amount of damage. Now remember with Deckard, positioning is everything. You want to bridge the gap between your melee and your ranged assassins. However, you do want to be available to follow up in any sort of tank fight initiation or peel for your backline when they're in trouble. Outside of the new cube mastery changes, what I like to do beyond just the field of study cube mastery combo is I like actually rejuvenation potion. I find a lot of value there as well as the AOE heal at 13. You wouldn't think it because it seems kind of hokey, but the reality is, is that when you're playing Storm League, people sometimes take potions that really aren't meant for them. So this actually mitigates some of that problem as well. Remember, the combo is scroll into cube into scroll. For those of you who are just wanting to be good enough, triangle, cube, two or three people, triangle again. Meanwhile, cue everything. Just huck out those potions whenever you can. Uther is down here. Oh, yes. I'm feeling like if I were Uther, I'd. Oh! Ah! 